Can Muslims have pets? As far as having pets in Islam is concerned, the scholars they have said that it is permitted in Islam to have pets and they base it on the hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him that is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 6203 that Anas bin Malik he reports that the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said that Anas bin Malik he had a younger brother by the name of Aba Umair and the Prophet peace be upon him used to visit this little boy and this little boy he had a small bird and the Prophet peace be upon him visited him and he asked this little boy Ya Aba Umair ma fa'ala Nughair that O oh, Aba Umair what has the little bird done Nughair was a kind of bird at the time of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him somewhat similar to a nightingale so the Prophet peace be upon him he would ask this little boy regarding his little bird and unfortunately this little boy his bird had passed away so the Prophet peace be upon him in order to console him he asked him regarding his little bird from this hadith we understand that the beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he showed love and affection towards the children even though our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he was so busy yet he showed love and affection towards children he was kind towards children this shows us the generosity of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him how he showed his affection towards children imagine the Prophet of Allah Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he was concerned about this little boy just because his bird had passed away so the Prophet showed love and affection towards children and based on this hadith the scholars they also say that the Prophet peace be upon him he did not prohibit or prevent this little boy from keeping this little bird so based on this the scholars they say that it is permitted to keep pets and to keep birds also as pets because if it was wrong the Prophet peace be upon him would have condemned Abba Umair so generally keeping pets it is permitted in Islam except for a dog and there are a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him wherein our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him we understand from these ahadiths that it is prohibited to keep dogs our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him said it is mentioned in sahih bukhari hadith number 3225 la kalb, that the angels do not enter a house in which there is a dog in another hadith our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him said it is mentioned in sahih muslim hadith number 2978 that whoever has a dog unless it be a dog for hunting or a dog for taking care of the livestock or a dog for farming two kirat will be deducted from his reward each day from this hadith we understand that it is prohibited to keep a dog and whoever keeps a dog unless it be a dog for hunting or a dog for taking care of the livestock or a dog for farming then two kirat of his two kirat from his good deeds it will be deducted each day from these two hadiths we understand that it is prohibited to keep dogs as pets unless it be a dog for hunting and the scholars they say unless it be a dog for hunting or a dog for guarding the house or a dog for taking care of the livestock or a dog for farming so generally keeping the dog as a pet it is prohibited in Islam besides the dog generally keeping pets it is permitted in Islam and the scholars they have said that it is permitted to keep pets and the most common pet for the human beings it is the dog and as I have mentioned that in Islam it is prohibited to keep dogs so we cannot keep dogs as pets and we also know scientifically it has been proven that the dog its saliva it is very harmful and when it licks the human beings it can cause various diseases the most common animal as a pet for the human beings after the dog it is the cat so the best animal to keep as a pet it is the cat and we know the famous sahabi Abu Huraira may Allah be pleased with him 
he was given this title as Abu Huraira because he used to like cats. And we know from the hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, wherein our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said regarding the cat, innaha, that it intermingles with you and you intermingle with it. Referring to the cat, that the cat, it is pure and it is not najis. Besides the cat, we can also keep other pets. For example, rabbits, for example, birds, etc. But if we are keeping any pet, we should see to it that we take care of six points. The first is, if we are keeping any pet, we should see to it that we provide it food and water. We provide it necessary food and water. This is the first. The second is that we treat the animal with kindness. We do not mistreat it. We do not ill-treat it. We do not use it for target practicing. And we do not make the pets fight among themselves. The third is that we provide the pet with proper shelter and with a proper environment an environment that is not too cold or too hot or too warm for the pet animal that we have the fourth is that we provide proper safety to the pet and we should see to it that we protect the pet from other predators etc the fifth is that if the pet falls sick or if the pet has any health issues then we should see to it that we take the pet to a veterinarian and the sixth is that we should not be extravagant as far as when we are buying a pet is concerned. When we are buying a pet, we should see to it that we do not spend exorbitant money when we are buying a pet. And we find this that it is very common today. People spend excessive money on buying pets. Exorbitant amount of money in order to buy a special breed or a special kind of pet. This is haram, this is prohibited. For a person who cannot, who does not have enough money to spend on himself and his family and he is spending excessive amount of money in order to buy a particular kind of pet. This is haram, this is prohibited. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 27, that the spendthrifts, they are the brothers of the devil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah Al-Furqan, chapter number 25, And they are the ones who when they spend, they are neither extravagant nor are they stingy. Talking about the Ibad rahman the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you should not spend exorbitant amount of money when you want to buy these kind of pets. And we see that it is very common, especially when they have some species of birds. For example, they might, people buy hawks, which are very expensive, certain kind of birds, which leads to extravagance, which should not be done. And we should take care of the pet. We should take care of the animal that we are keeping as a pet. And there are a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which talk about being kind, being generous towards animals. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said it is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 2363. A man, he was walking and he felt very thirsty. And he comes across a well and in order to get water, he climbs down the well in order to get water for himself. He comes up the well, he drinks the water and he is satisfied and he has quenched his thirst thirst and later after a few minutes later on he sees a dog that is standing next to the well and the dog is removing its tongue and it is very thirsty so this animal so this man he thinks to himself that this dog is thirsty the same way as I was thirsty so in order to give this dog water after coming out of the well, he climbs down the well again and fills his empty shoe with water, holds his shoe with his mouth and climbs up the well and 
gives this dog water to drink so that the dog can quench his thirst and because of this action the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him so the Prophet so the Sahaba they asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that is the reward if we are kind to the animals to the creatures to the living creatures so the Prophet peace be upon him said that in every living creature there is a reward so if you treat the animals with kindness you will get reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this person because of his kind gesture Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he forgave him in another hadith it is mentioned our beloved prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said it is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 3318 that a woman entered the hellfire because of a cat who she neither fed who she had tied and she neither fed nor let the cat out to eat from the woman of the earth so we should take utmost precaution that when we are keeping pets we should take care of the pets and we should see to it that we fulfill all of these six points that I have mentioned. If you cannot take care of a pet properly, of an animal, if you cannot take care of the pet that you have properly, it is better that you do not keep a pet. If you are keeping a pet, you should see to it that you take proper care of the pet. So I hope that answers the question.